This third generation proof of work blockchain is bringing things from Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Chainlink, and mashing all of it together, aiming to solve 99% of the current problems and solutions that we have in crypto. It's doing it with a great fundamental background of what crypto is and should be based on Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin principles. This is Ergo, and I want to explain to you what Ergo is, the technology, the risks, the pros and cons, and why you might want to consider getting some Erg, the native token of the Ergo community. Ergo was founded in 2019 by Alexander Chapernoy and some others, but Alexander is the core dev of the Ergo platform. He started working in crypto in 2010, 2011 on Bitcoin, helped found a project named Waves, helped found a project named Chainlink, helped found a project named Cardano, and now is helping to found a project named Ergo. So a lot of blockchain experience, especially in the UTXO space, um, but with experience in Chainlink on Ethereum platforms and also in Bitcoin and Cardano on UTXO platforms. Ergo has the ability to kind of mash all these technologies together, bringing things like Oracle pools into the UTXO model and really trying to see what technological modifications they can make to current blockchain problems and solutions. What makes Ergo so special? It is aimed to solve 99% of those blockchain problems that we see today. Currently, if you're in crypto like I am, it's written in Ergo script, which is based on Scala. It's a proof of work ASIC resistant mineable coin, so those big Bitcoin miners cannot touch it. It is only GPU mineable, fully decentralized, fully open source, and most of the dApps on it are following the same open source principles. There were no tokens given to team or insiders. All of the tokens are given to the community or buyers and holders, except for about four to five percent, which is given to the Ergo Foundation. The developers of the platform work from grants from this Ergo Foundation, and then it is hard capped at 97.7 million ERG with you know the same principles as Bitcoin has with having events and scarcity events. Also, it is EUTXO, so those transaction fees are very minimal and technically it has zero gas fees, just small, small input and output transaction batching fees. So there are three main pieces of technology that are at the base layer of Ergo that make it really, really fundamentally interesting. The first thing is going to be the Sigma protocols that Ergo runs on. So it's a native class of ZK rollups based on what's called Schnorr proofs, which are highly efficient ZK rollup solutions. Many people have proposed Bitcoin should move to this. There is a really good article on the Ergo website that I'll put in the description about this. But basically, Schnorr proofs and these ZK, ZK rollup technologies called Sigma protocols put right into Ergo's base layer allow for it to be highly efficient at signing blockchain contracts natively for anyone building a D app or for developers using the blockchain. Okay, so. That's the first thing it has. The second thing it has that's really interesting is storage rent. Storage rent is a small fee that is charged to you if you have an EUTXO box open on the blockchain for more than four years. Okay, so say you put some Ergo in a wallet, that opens an EUTXO box on the blockchain, right? So you have that unspent transaction. You need to do something with that Erg, either send it back to the same address, buy an NFT, spend some of it in order to contribute to the blockchain, contribute to miners, et cetera. If you don't and you leave that box open for four years, then a small fee will be charged to you called storage rent. Storage rent costs 1.4 ERG, and there's a lot of ways to get around it and a lot of situations. I've made another video on it, but basically, if you don't have any ERG in your wallet, anything in that wallet can be used to pay that storage rent fee. Store, storage rent helps clean up blockchain dust, so those little microtransactions that you can't get in and out of a wallet or off of an exchange. It also helps to reduce the blockchain garbage, reduce the load, and keep it condensed and light and clean. The third interesting piece of technology that Ergo has is NepoPow, so non-interactive proof of proof of work, all right? So basically, this means that anyone who wants to use the blockchain or like a light a D app or like, say, a cell phone, if any of these want to connect to the blockchain in a very light client way, they don't have to download the whole blockchain. They don't have to have a node. They don't have to have a couple megabytes, et cetera, of data. They just need to be able to have a non-interactive proof that proof of work is happening via Nepo POWs, and they can connect to the blockchain in a very light way, a very clean, simple, crisp way, which is what this allows. So this will allow for more users and like nodes, kind of like a cell phone to connect to the blockchain or dApps to connect to the blockchain in the fiat and crypto world. Another big piece of technology that's coming to Ergo that I just mentioned is the Rosen Bridge. So Rosen Bridge is aiming to first bridge to Cardano and then to any other blockchain that wants to have it. Basically what makes Rosen Bridge so interesting is that all of the security is handled on the Ergo side. So traditionally in bridges, there's a security on 
say one side, like an Ethereum side, and then another side, like a Cardano side. So you have to maintain security on both levels in order to keep the bridge secure. Ergo's Rosen bridge is different. So it's connecting to Cardano. All the security is maintained on Ergo side with things like watchers and guarders and different layers of verification at each step. Cardano doesn't have to maintain any of the security. So all the security is focused on the Ergo side and therefore easier to maintain. So that's we can make a whole other video about that one, but that is another very interesting piece of technology that should be coming out towards the summer. So now that you've learned about some really cool technology on the Ergo platform, I know you're excited to go use some dApps on Ergo. And the reality is, is that we have the same dApps on Ergo that all other blockchains have on their chain, okay? Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, et cetera. We all have the same dApps and Ergo has the same one. So it, we have an open source DEX called Spectrum Finance. You can go trade your Ergo native coins and do like lending or um, liquidity and farming opportunities. We have a stable coin called Sigma USD. We have a mixer, much like Tornado Cash. We have privacy focused on the Ergo blockchain. So we have a mixer called Ergo Mixer. And then we have NFT marketplaces in Auction House. It's called Auction House. And then we have another one called Sky Harbor. So we basically have all the same DApps that everyone else has. We have lending protocols coming. We have, you know, other NFT projects coming, big NFT projects. We have games. We have the same DApps as everyone else, and they're ready to be used right now. If you want to go use some of these DApps, you will need a wallet. So we have some Ergo native wallets and like their mobile wallet and the Ergo team like created wallet. Um, but most people use what's called the Nautilus wallet. It's a third party wallet. And then there's a couple other third party options for wallets that I'll put on the screen right here. So go get a wallet. They're very simple and easy to use. Um, but if you want to interact with those DApps, you will need a wallet, much like any other blockchain. Here are the tokenomics of the Ergo platform. You can see that 4.4% is given to the Ergo Foundation with all of the rest, you know, the 90 plus percent going to the public as a public sale. No private sale, no insiders, no community allocation. There's only public sale and Ergo Foundation. So two things I want to touch on before we end the video is the cons of Ergo and then the price, okay, where the price was, where the price is, and where the price could go based on certain factors. So I want to just give you a final round, full round picture of Ergo and let you know the risks that you're getting into, right? Cons of what could be wrong with Ergo. And then price speculation, just because price speculation is fun in crypto and it's fun to do. All right. So some cons of Ergo. The first thing is lack of marketing. Ergo does not have huge venture capital budgets. And it's more grassroots, right, of a blockchain that, you know, just doesn't have a whole lot of, well, not really like it doesn't have a whole lot of money in it, but the money is used to develop, right? The Ergo Foundation's job is to develop the community's job, aka my job is to market this thing and show people what I like and put out cool hoodies, right? And make some stickers, right? So the Ergo Foundation is not solely focused on marketing. It's more of us as a community's job to market this thing, right? Bitcoin didn't start with marketing. People just picked it up and it kind of went, right? So Ergo is much on the same principles. They use the money of the Ergo Foundation, the very limited resources that they have to develop the blockchain, which is great. So we need to pick up the slack and market this bad boy, all right? So that's number one. A lot of people don't know about it. They kind of know about it as like that, GPU mineable coin to go mine now that Ethereum's not mineable. All right. So that's the narrative we got to kind of work with and push out all the great things of Ergo. The second thing, the second con, again, it's that it's a smaller community. We just don't have like first mover advantage. We don't have like huge NFT selling projects selling for like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get viral virality, right? So maybe with the Rosen Bridge, we'll have some virality. Maybe we'll bring some of that Cardano people over to Ergo, right? But just a smaller community right now. It doesn't mean that won't change, but just right now it's smaller. The third thing is that, again, lack of funding. So we just don't have a whole lot of funding to go to other things besides development. The fourth thing is going to be slower development, not necessarily like slower development. It's just like developing a blockchain for the first time takes time, right? Cardano has taken time. Ethereum took time. Bitcoin took time. People are still building on Bitcoin, right? So Ergo is going to be a long, slow process of developing on, especially when you have limited developers. So in the bull run, more developers might come, more dApps might rush in, but that's just something to take in time. The last thing I'd probably say about the riskiness of Ergo is that I kind of think of it as a next iteration of Bitcoin, being that it's proof of work with smart contracts. So that's kind of like 
the next Bitcoin, right? But the problem is other people might not see it that way. Ergo is still very risky in a risky asset class. So S&P 500 is safe. Bitcoin is risky. Ergo is the riskiest. The natives on Ergo are risky, 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 right? So down the line, Ergo is still very risky and hasn't really proven itself over a decade yet. So the last thing is that, yes, it has a big risk profile. Those are the cons of Ergo that I see right now. And they're well known and they're well discussed, but they're not, they're not like this huge hurdle. They will in time, if Ergo is successful, be worked out and be okay. So that's a risk that just some cons that you need to know as an investor, if you want to invest in Ergo for financial gain or for use of the blockchain. Okay. Now let's get into the price and look at where we are and where we have been and where we can possibly be. On my screen here, I'm showing us the weekly Ergo um, trading view chart, the Ergo USD chart. And we're just going to look at the weekly to just give a very, very high level overview of price, where the price was, is, and could possibly be. Okay. So some interesting things you want to know is, yeah, the chart goes back to like 2020. Ergo is found in like 2019. So we have almost full chart history. Then we have an all-time high sitting at around $18 to $20, somewhere right here around that $19 range. Um, in September of 2020, which is right here, you can see Ergo had a great bounce all the way up to about five-ish dollars. This is when Ethereum went proof of stake. So when Ethereum goes proof of stake, Ergo becomes more attractive and it gets miners. So this is what happens here. Right now, we're sitting at $1.50, $1.60, somewhere around there. Um, you can see back when Ergo first started, it was sitting at around, you know, 30, between 10 cents and a dollar. So we're not all the way back to those lows of when Ergo was incepted, but that's kind of hard to, that, that'll be hard to achieve. But as far as, you know, the $20 all time high at market cap of around 500 million, we are currently sitting at around that $1.50, $1.60, which seems like a very good deal. Our current market cap is sitting right around that 100 million mark, fully diluted 154 million. I personally like to look at the fully diluted because I am a long-term investor. So um, if you're a short-term trader, you want to look at the market cap, you know, if you're talking weeks and months, if you're a long-term buyer and holder, you know, talking months to years, you want to look at fully diluted, diluted market cap so that, you know, um, since the ergo inflation is done via miners, and if you don't mind, then you won't be getting inflation. Like on Cardano, you get tokens for staking. Ergo has doesn't have staking. So if you don't mind, you won't get inflation. So you need to take fully diluted market cap into account. So we're sitting at 154 million, 155 million at a dollar fifty-eight. And um, you know, it's it's fun to think of what scenarios can come from this. A lot of people say that back when we were, I can show you here. A lot of people say that when we were back at twenty dollars and we were at five hundred million. 600 million that this is still relatively low for a blockchain capable of what ergo is capable of and many people think that ergo could be worth more of like what a cardano is worth at a 15 billion dollar market cap all right so um and then people in the cardano community think that cardano is worth what ethereum is kind of worth at 150 billion market cap right and then people in ethereum think that ethereum is worth what bitcoin's worth at you know 400 billion right so these things kind of have layers and levels and it's hard to tell i definitely think smaller coins like ergo and cardano and ethereum will eat away more of bitcoin's market cap over time especially if they continue to have like big developments and they might take away some stuff from the fi the fiat financial sector i do think a lot of the speculation is kind of you know like hearsay and it's very hard to even tell but i don't think that a one to five billion dollar fully diluted market cap would be impossible for ergo in 2025 2026 if it keeps developing how it is just to put this in kind of perspective, um, you know, I want to show you here real quick that Cardano is currently sitting at a 13, you can see it right down here, a $13.4 billion market cap. You know, I said, I think Ergo can be between one and 5 billion, definitely by 2025, 2026. So kind of close to around this number here. Um, if that were to happen, if Ergo were to get to the market cap of say a Cardano, then it would be worth almost $200 at the current supply. Now there will be more supply. So maybe it's like $150. But if you're buying at $1.50 and it gets to $150, that is a hundred X of your money. So it goes $1.50, then it goes $15, then it goes $150. So each one of those is 10 X. So you're a hundred X your money. You put a thousand dollars in, it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. You put ten thousand dollars in, it's worth a million dollars in a couple of years. So 
this is all very big price speculation, but I think based on what the technology is saying, all that we're missing is the adoption. So me marketing and other people making videos about it, we're trying to uh, build up that marketing, kind of share people what we like about the Ergo blockchain. If you take another example here is if you take Ergo and compare it to something like Chainlink, which is, you know, kind of in that market cap, we're not comparing the technology here, just the market cap size. Chainlink is at about a three and a half billion dollar market cap. If Ergo were to get to that fully diluted market cap, which I think is possible for a layer one blockchain of its technology, then it would be around $50. So you buy it at a dollar 50 and it gets to $50. That's over 10 X. That's, you know, somewhere around 32 X of what you've invested. So just want to put that in perspective. I definitely think that Ergo is capable of a one to $5 billion market cap fully diluted just because I like the technology and what it provides. And I think all that we're missing is users, right? So that's kind of the video that I have for you today. I just want to share my insights on what Ergo is at a very high level, make a great part one video on this Ergo series. And then from here, we will make further videos on what Ergo is, what it's capable of as it develops some dApps on it and other things. I want to definitely help in the Ergo marketing as I've, you know, been in the Cardano space, the Ergo space, and the overall investing and finance space. On this channel, we don't just talk crypto like Ergo and Cardano. We talk about things like financial freedom and investing and living a financially free life and retiring and SP 500 and crypto like Cardano and Ergo. So, you know, we talk about all this stuff because it's what I like to talk about and what I'm really interested in. Um, but hopefully this video specifically provided you some value, okay? We will keep releasing Ergo content and all the other financial content to, you know, just help you do the right things with your money and think about money in a different type of way, all right? Hopefully you have a great week and a great weekend coming up and, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next one.